Hey guys, it's Skier. Now this is a very different video. There'll be a card in the top right um, with a poll on it, and go vote on that because it's pretty important. I want your feedback to see what you guys want to see. But today we're talking about why you should learn to code. And the first thing is it'll improve your problem solving skills. There's no direct way to do things in code. You need to write it in individual lines as you'll see me do on screen. And in a second, uh, you'll see me like write methods that like add things for um, like when you get a when you level up on high pixel, it detects that and then it broadcasts it to Gilchat if you have a setting enabled, right? Things like that. It'll improve your problem solving skills because you need to figure out new ways of doing things because everything you write is probably going to be different, right? I've never written a system directly like this, but I had to problem solve to figure out how I want to do it. Next, it's a lot of fun. Like, people call it cringe or whatever, but like, you can just have so much fun turning your ideas into code and then sending those to others. A few years ago, I started coding, right? I published my first thing to Spigot about four years ago, and it, it was just like a dumb thing. It made it so when you throw eggs, like lightning bolts come from where the eggs land, right? It's dumb, but I had fun making it and I learned a lot. And in coding, you will constantly be learning because if you don't know how to do something, you literally just Google it. No one knows how to code, but everyone knows how to Google really well to find the answer and those great things like Stack Overflow as I talked about in my last video. And who knows, you might love it. I started coding and I was like, I don't know, maybe I did want to do this for my career, maybe I don't. Look at me, uh, four years later, I've created a business around it. I have dozens of mods that lots of people use. I actually just hit a million total days of time spent using my mods in uh, 2018. I really only started in December of 2017, like late December. So it's been, what, about almost nine months now, and I've had a million days of collective time use it. That is an unimaginably long amount of time. It's like millennia, maybe an eon. Well, maybe not an eon, but you get it, right? You can create mods that don't exist. All of my mods didn't exist before I created them, and now thousands of people use them daily. Like, you create a creation that then people can go on to use for a long time. Like, Level had I created over a year ago, and somehow, like, 12,000 people a day still use it. People love mods, and if you create a good one, you can go out there, and you can spread it to thousands of people and maybe even make some money off it. I added Levelhead Premium as a, th a level custom Levelhead like later as a way to monetize on it because Levelhead started to cost me a lot and I made a profit on it. it. Even if you don't choose to go into programming as your career, it's very important that you at least know how it works because you're in your life, you're going to have to work with programmers and if you have no idea what they have to deal with, it, it, there's a big um, disconnect. It's almost like a language barrier between the programmer who actually has to execute it and to you who is creating the idea. I've convinced you to learn how to code, now what? There are hundreds of tutorials one search away in this great thing called Google that knows everything you need to know for coding. Just search how to code Java, how to code Python. If you want to code stuff for Minecraft, um, Java edition, you're gonna to need to learn Java because that's what stuff is in. You learn Java and then you can make Minecraft mods with that Java. I'd really recommend getting your uh, feet in the water for Java first before trying to do anything Minecraft related because it'll make it that much easier if you already know the language a little bit when you're seeing people code stuff for Minecraft because they might not be explaining the Java behind it. But you'll already know the Java so you can follow along with their Minecraft related things. Another great language is Python. That's what my MIT class this year was in. Not everything will be easy, but you just need to push yourself if you want to get through. And then once you've built up a good understanding, you do it and you keep on doing it. It's like a muscle. You need to practice, you need to train it get good at it, and then a few years down the road, you can be in a position where I am, where you're leading a huge project, or you have dozens of mods. Um, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, I'll answer them in the comments. Bye, guys.